Yeah. Welcome back to Ozark Fox AM. Here's a little health news from our own Kaylee Custer. Kaylee? Yeah, so Ozzy Osbourne describes his recent diagnosis, citing 2019 as a very painful year. Plus, a longer flu season may be upon us. Here's what you need to know to keep an eye on your health. The flu season may last a little longer than usual this year. Flu season typically starts in October and lasts until about March. However, this year the virus has been a bit unusual. It arrived in early fall and doctors with the Cleveland Clinic say it may stick around a bit. Doctors are encouraging anyone who has not gotten the flu shot to get vaccinated, given the flu can make anyone sick. But check your thermometer closely because the average body temperature in humans may be dropping. Researchers from Stanford University report that the average temperature has dropped from 98.6 degrees to about 97.9 degrees. About 157 years worth of data from more than 677,000 temperature readings were analyzed for this research. Researchers say changes in height and weight over time may explain the lower temperature rate. Another factor is development in treating infectious diseases. The study's results have been published in the paper eLife. A common over-the-counter pain medication ingredient could soon be classified as a carcinogen in California. Acetaminophen used in brands such as Tylenol, Excedrin, and Sudafed could fall prey to a California state law. The law says the state must warn people of any chemical known to cause cancer or reproductive toxicity. However, listing a drug or chemical as a carcinogen could have legal repercussions. Take the weed killer Roundup, for example. When that product was linked to cancer, many lawsuits followed. Acetaminophen has been available over the counter since 1955. Rocker Ozzy Osbourne reveals he suffers from a debilitating disease. The 71 year old Black Sabbath frontman revealed in a recent interview that he has a mild form of Parkinson's disease. Osbourne said he was diagnosed with Parkinson's after suffering a fall last year. His wife Sharon says the diagnosis was, quote, not a death sentence, but he has good days and bad days. Last November, the heavy metal singer postponed his tour, which was supposed to begin this month. National Hugging Day came and went earlier this week, and it turns out hugging can be good for your health. Doctors at the Cleveland Clinic say hugging can help regulate moods and help children's brains develop. Hugging releases oxytocin, known as the feel-good chemical, which can help regulate stress. Giving a hug can even help a child having a meltdown calm down a bit. And with elections and so forth coming up, we could all use a hug, right? <laughs> get in here, you. I knew what you were saying. Kayla was like, I need a hug from Jeremy. I need a hug. Well, they say you're supposed to have, you're supposed to get how many hugs a day? I mean, seriously. Is, there, is that a rule? Well, I mean, I've, I've heard, heard that, that because yeah. it's good for you. Yeah, it is. Awesome. It, it elevates that uh, feel-good chemical yeah. in your body. Yeah, I like also, that. Also, talking about bodies, uh, body temperature is lowering, although I think mine is raising. I feel, okay. I feel like mine, I do too. my body yeah. temperature is always mm-hmm. like 99.3. Right. Have, oh, yeah. but but have either one of you ever taken a temperature that was 98.6 exactly? Never. I never have. Quite honestly, mine runs about 96.7, and that's because of thyroid issues. They, oh. the, the thyroid regulate, regulates your body temperature. And, so yours is lower then? Mine is lower, so I'm always colder. I think mm. the 98.6 yeah. is an average. Yeah. It's not necessarily everyone is going to have this exact thing. Yeah. There are different factors yeah. like thyroid right. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but you see that average lowering. Oh. Yeah. But so Jaylee, I think you're, you're, you're always hot. I'm always cold. Always sweating. <laughs> yes. I found it more interesting, too, about the uh, acetaminophen. Yeah. I mean, hello. Yeah. Every, I ta- if I get a headache, I'm, I take it, the pills. And you were saying something like you don't take medicines. Normally. Yeah. Um, there's very, very rare occasions that if I'm just on my last string of hope, mm-hmm. then I'll take medicine. But traditional medicine... I mean, not, not knocking it at all. They're it's vac- just for you. Vaccines yeah. are great. Yeah. Get yeah. your vaccines, especially that flu shot, because that flu season is it's upon us. Um, but, yeah, Tylenol Did you natural? and... No, I just suck it up. Oh! <laughs> you know... She's strong. She's tough. Um, the thing is, is they, they used to tout that aspirin was bad because it's kind of a blood thinner and that sort of thing, so to go and do the Tylenol and that sort of thing, and I used to think it didn't help at all. Right. And lately, I have been doing the Tylenol thing, and to find this out, I mean, anytime you take something, of course, it's, right. it's going to alter you in some way. But And also, for the case for medicine, um, you're going to see that it does improve your bodily functions. So 
they're not going to release something that doesn't yeah. help you. Right. Well, right. thanks, Kaylee. We're up to date now. All right. All right, coming up in a bit, it's time to escape to the Chateau on the Lake. Don't go anywhere. Ozark's Box AM will be right back. That'll be good for your health, too. <laughs> yeah, so that, good. Going to the spa is good for my health. Mine too. That's for sure. <laughs>